absolutely perfect. I've just sounded through this area and there's a whole lot of bait. Now the idea of what I'm going to do here is use a downrigger. Downrigger is a fantastic piece of equipment and while a lot of game fishermen use outriggers to get their lures wider out from the boat and further back, with a downrigger it does a similar sort of thing. Got a great big lead bomb and rather than going out this sends our stuff down to that. We've got a release clip that's like a peg and this way I can get one of these X wraps which dives 10 feet to run 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 feet deep, whatever it may be. The idea of what I'm trying to do here is get these lures to run about anything from three to six foot off the bottom, right where those snapper are feeding. Find those areas where the bait are, and if you mark fish that's near the bait, they're the ones you're gonna catch, because they're hunting the bait, they're actively feeding, and they love to eat this sort of stuff. So we'll have two downriggers out. The other thing we'll do is maybe work in a bit shallower. And once you get into some shallower water, there's some other great rapalas you can use, something like a tail dancer, dives 30 feet just on its own, and snapper have a great love for these lures, whatever it may be, they're a timber body versus your X-Wraps, which are the new age plastic injection body, both work exceptionally well. Great thing about this, you just run it straight off the rod tip, as I said, dives 30 feet, if you're in 35 feet of water, well that's going to be absolutely perfect. The other great thing about these lures is just their swimming action. You find they've got nice, tight sort of shimmying actions. This guy's got a tight shimmying action, but a nice wide tail kick rather than a body roll. And the other thing that I'm really starting to find a lot with the snapper is they love bright colours. Things like this hot orange and hot green and stuff like this is called hothead. The other great colour is called dorado, but then you can't go past just your standard bait fishy sort of patterns, just like that silver blue. And something that does make these work so well is that they've got UV paint in them also. This orange under the chin there is UV, and there's a lot of UV in the body of this lure, even just that bit under the chin there. We can't see it, but to a fish, they see UV colors extremely well. And in darker water or down in deeper water, this is probably what they're picking up on first before they actually see the lure. They'll see a flash of color, they'll hear the rattles that are in the lures, and it will help attract them to the area. When you put the rod in the holder too with a downrigger, whether you use the rod holder mounted on the downrigger, in this case my, snap, my snapper rack, you see I've got the rod bent over. That line's going down 30 feet and then back about 20 feet. That 20 feet drop back allows that lure to dive the 10 foot that it needs to. In this case, we're in 36 foot of water. I've got the lure or the downrigger bomb down 22, which makes that lure dive another 10 foot below that 32. We've now got that lure four foot off the bottom in an absolutely perfect spot. With that rod loaded over too, you can see what happens if you get a hit or whatever, you'll see the tip move, but also when you get the bite, that tip flicking up will help pick up a metre or so of slack and help you get those hooks in a bit better. stack of fish on the sounder and I was actually rushing to get that downrigger down into those fish as quickly as I could. I reckon that lure would have gone down, levelled out at its diving depth and got clobbered straight away. I don't think it's a big fish but it's not a bad sort of a start. Get that downrigger up, it's where you've got to love electric downriggers. They make life so much easier. A lot of fun on this light spin gear too. Little two to four kilo T-spec rod. And the great thing about here in Port Phillip Bay is that it's relatively snag free, so it's not like you're really gonna get busted off. I know the boys up the north coast, they have big problems on their snapper because they pull hard and they smash up on the reef, but here it's a great fishery for light line. Yeah, I'm actually gonna grab my little net. I didn't even get time to put that second rod in. And that's how good it can be. A lot of people think, you know, you come out and if you catch a fish on the trial, you've, you know, you're lucky, you've done, you've fluked it, but it's an absolutely deadly way to fish, let me tell you. First of all, you cover a lot of ground. You can follow the schools of fish as they move with the tide or move with the bait rather than being anchored in one spot 